go for the part 5 so installing the WSS so in the in my Z drive see I have the one file is there WSS 3.0 z 4 MB and this is update so first of all open this file click run so windows server update services to update the operating system to update the application software we require this one so click next so select the full server installation including administration control console click next accept the license agreement so click on next so by default it will be storing in the C drive suppose if you require some other drive also we can go for some other drive it require almost 6 GB space I am storing in the C drive only click next so install windows internal database so it is automatically creating a database in SSCM server now click on next see use the existing IAS default website so click on next So click on finish. So after this point, don't configure anything in the WSS now. Click on cancel. The software update services we can configure from the SSCM server. Now open this point we have the update file is there run the update for WSS click and run So WSS update is completed, click OK. So up to now, before installing the SSCM 2012, we have completed the prerequisites. The first part, we require the attitude directory and we prepared the attitude directory and the part two, we have installed the SQL server and we have configured the SQL server memory and part 3 we have seen like a adding the web server role and bits RDC features and updating the attitude at the schema and part 4 we have seen installing the ADK and part 5 we have seen installing the WSS server and updating the WSS server and part 6 will go for now the main part installing the SSCM server 2012 so this we can see in the next video